Hello, love friends. Zepper Drabby here. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a bit, a little bit away. Uh, today, we are kind of taking over for a friend. I think we also have another friend also doing the same thing. Of uh, We are going to be doing Theme Deck Corner, where we go over the most recently released theme decks and discuss playability and what's the good cards from them and whatnot. So today, we are going over the Raikou deck with Lost Voltage. Um, as you can see below me, we have the card itself, and uh, we're going to get started on it in just one moment. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, we have Raikou. Its attack is... It's the main attacker in this deck. It has Lost Voltage. If you have any Lightning Energy in the Lost Zone, this attack does 90 more damage. Now, I played this a lot in pre-releases. A lot. It was everywhere. Um, it was really the only only evolution pack that I would pull would be the Raikou Ampharos. Um, so, it has this and... Here's the non-holo version if you guys want to see what that looks like. And of course it's pairing itself with the Unseen Flash of Ampharos. Uh, once during your turn before you attack, you may discard two lightning energies from your hand into the Lost Zone. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. That's a very fun effect, but the caveat of it is you have to have two lightning energies to discard. Not just one, but two. Um, so it makes me wonder whether or not, you know, Raikou is going to be better with, you know, with Ampharos, or, you know, if the, the Lost Blender would be better with it. And considering it attacks for two energies, maybe the Counter Gain. And then, of course, unfortunately, there's none in this deck, but you need some Electro Powers to really power up that 120 damage to make Raikou just kind of go off the charts. Um, so we do have a 2-2-2 uh, a two -two -two Ampharos line in this, and two Raikus. Um, hopefully we can find our Mareeps. These things are hard to find in the middle of a game. Uh, so that's always fun to try. We also get a 3-1. A I believe it's 3-1 Zeb Strike Align. This is a great ability. Once during a turn, before you attack, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. Now, you have to have a card in your hand to discard before you can activate Sprint. But, that is an amazing ability. It lets you really speed through your deck. This and Sightseer, actually at pre-release made me deck myself out and go 1-3 on the day. I beat one with the last card in my deck. The rest of them I decked myself out trying to beat the opponent. Take four prizes. So it's like, it's dangerous having Zeb Strika and Sightseer, but it really lets you turn churn through your deck and find the cards that you are looking for. And of course we have the Blitzel to evolve. We have one Smeargle, Stunning Likeness. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may use the effect of a supporter card you find there, and the effect of it as it's as this attack. So, that's that's not bad. You you can do some draw support with stunning likeness. You can do uh, Guzma, any of those things. You just choose what you want. But I mean, you gotta really hope that your opponent is holding on to a draw supporter, but they may not be. And then we have the Furfru, which they generally put in stuff as a general draw support. You may draw until you have five cards in your hand, and that is all the Pokemon. Uh, no, it's not. We have a 3-2 Naganadal line. Here's the two three Poiples and the two Naganadals. This card is amazing. So versatile in the whole thing. It has the ability to charge up, grab energies from the discard pile, put it on itself. Um, so it's two turns away from attacking every time. If you play DCE, maybe even one. Or if you've had it on the turn, or if you use the counter gain, you know, it's ready right away. Naganadal. I expect this thing to be good everywhere. Um, I'm, I swear, like, half of my deck ideas is Naganadal and this person. Naganadal and this Pokemon. So it's like, I plan on using Naganadal a lot in all my deck testing. Uh, so I trust this card to be very good. So, I mean, you get some good pieces from these decks, but I don't think this deck itself is very very good against the field of other theme decks just the pokemon are just not quite strong enough i mean if they put electro power in this this deck would be bonkers but in the theme deck format but without the electro powers it's just it falls a little short you tend to deck yourself out i think 
with the sprint ability and the discarding of your lightning energies you can never just like play them um but it is what it is um now this has something interesting to show you and that is using energy switch with your naginatal you charge up onto your naginatal energy switch onto the pokemon you actually want to attack with uh has escape rope so you can get out of the active i think everything is everything's not heavy but you don't have an escape board or anything to retreat anything so you still need the that to a retreat nest ball i believe it plays two yeah two nest ball to get your mareeps get your zeb striker get your raikou down on the bench poiples uh two rescue stretchers to get back stuff that you lose whether you get a early uh a raikou gets knocked out early or something along the amphorus line gets knocked out you can bring it back a switch two timer balls to search for your evolutions at your amphoros line and your naginato but uh that is what it is you do get a couple of ultra balls in here so it's actually giving you one two three four five ball search cards in these decks which is not bad at all i mean i do find the supporter line to be a little thin but it works it works it works i think um yeah i mean it, it's decent but i mean they expect you to be drawing with your zeb striker here you have one copycat two howls two kahili's kahili's kind of interesting it's a uh draw two cards you then you flip a coin you can see if she comes back to your hand which is not bad uh you got a lily a couple kukui's so good some good some good draw supports the lily is good kui kukui is good you can start building some standard decks with these after the fact but definitely using naginatal it's kind of a really good leg up i think the other deck uh the intake one has a macargo which is also a very good pokemon so a lot of these they're giving good support pokemon in a lot of these theme decks now which is very very nice for incoming new players um so with that we're going to go ahead and jump onto the versus ladders guy i hope i i hope i explained everything pretty well for you guys um and we're going to go ahead and jump um with this raikou deck Let's switch over to theme decks and it is uh not blazing volcano that's the other one wow look at gears of fire is banned now because of wally man i guess i should have had this up and ready already but it is uh storm rider i believe storm crasher storm, storm caller there we go that's rider this is caller all right so let's go ahead we're gonna see how the Raikou theme deck goes along on the versus ladder. Hopefully we can find somebody. Um, reminder to everybody, we are up to uh, 234 subscribers. We are going to be giving away that Ho-Oh GX10 at 250 as, as well, uh, along with a Shining Ho-Oh card. Um, I just still got to figure out how to uh, get that. It looks like it's going to be probably a Christmas giveaway, though, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice to be giving during the giving season now that it's officially here. So we have the advantage. We're facing against that Hidden Depths Articuno deck. Okay, they won. Oh, I won. Okay, yes. Uh, go first because I have evolutions. That's not a bad idea at all. And we start things off with the Raikou unless we want to do some Smeargle action. You know what? Why not? Why not? Let's see. Let's see what the stunning likeness is. Let's see if how, how good of a, a Van Gogh a Smeargle is. So you guys may notice I am in a slightly different location today. That's one thing I do like about my setup is that it is portable. So that I can do stuff like that. Ooh, cool. We get a fan club right away. Yeah, we want a Zeb Strike up. And we might as well grab a Mareep. So we can get that going as well. Unless Poiple is a better choice. No, I think considering we're playing with Raikou, we want to get the Mareep up so that we can um, get a attacking with Raikou as soon as possible. This is where I feel Lost Mixer would be a little fat. Lost Mixer. I'm just going to end up calling it Lost Mixer all the time. But it's Lost Blender. Lost Blender. This is where I think Lost Blender might actually be better for you. Uh, because if I had Lost Blender here right now, I could just... I could just Lost Blender, throw the two Lightning Energies away, and uh, have be able to attack with Raikou the following turn. So it's just a little quicker with Lost, Lost Blender than it is with um, with the Ampharos line. But the Ampharos line has a, 
an amazing ability if you can get it working. I'm trying right now, because I got so many from pre-releases, to work it with Zoroark. But it's still it's still in its uh, infancy stage, still trying to make it work, and it still feels like it'd be better with just Lost Mixer, Lost Blender. But maybe Raikou's not the right attacker to go with it. Maybe the Lightning Energy should just be in there to fuel the paralyzation of the opponent so that the Zora can hit two shots. Okay, so they didn't get much going on. Looks like we have a little bit going on. We can get... We can Timer Ball here for a, a Flaffy since those are so hard to find. Now this has me intrigued. Should I retreat? No, I probably should not retreat. So here's a good question. Whether or not I should Kikui or Sprint. My guessing is that I should actually Sprint because I'm spanning, I'm planning on using their supporter this turn. Kikui is nice, but I'm not going to be hitting with Smeargle. So it's better to just uh, do the stunning likeness. Sweet, and we got a Nest Ball here too. So I can actually get another Mareep online. Although, I think we're going to start wanting energies back. So we might want to grab a Poiple. Yeah, I think Poiple is probably the best team here to grab. And then we can Stunning Likeness here. They got two water energies. Okay, so at least we got to see what their hand looks like. We can retreat this mural next turn and start attacking with Raikou. Which is a big attacker. I'm actually surprised it's working this this quickly. But it's not a bad it's not a bad thing, Deck. I just don't think it's the best one. They have an end! That really throws me off. You're not used to that in theme deck format where you're just like end. Like I mean, the decks are the, those. I'm really expecting them to update those soon. Those old theme decks. Ooh, we got another purple. I'm okay with that. And look, I can actually get a. Uh, ooh, man, I'm in a rough spot. I guess. Uh, let's throw this down. We're getting rid of a lot here. We're gonna escape rope. We're gonna go in with Raikou. We're just gonna we're gonna sprint and see see if we can hit the Ampharos. What are they gonna throw? Yeah, we're gonna throw this up there. It's weak to metal though. Um, we could switch if we wanted to to get the stunning likeness again. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. We're just gonna sprint. We're gonna see how many of these evolutions we can get here. What do we get? We get the Ampharos, we get a... We get a Poiple, and we can actually go ahead and Unseen Flash here. Doesn't matter that we're paralyzing him because we're planning on knocking him out, but now Lost Voltage will hit for 120 every turn. Which is the point of that. And we get a Timer Ball, so we can hopefully get the Naganadals back, and then we can bring back these two energies. The deck set up pretty well there, but I mean you got to focus on getting the Zeb Strike up first. That is your draw support, so you want to get that set up so that you can kind of steamroll your opponent. Because most of these theme decks will not have a uh, will not have a, a draw supporter in it. Wow, that just happened. Uh, let's throw this on Ampharos because it can still do some spread attack in a pinch. It does 50-50, which is not bad. Ooh, we could energy switch. Um, we don't need to do that though, and we're still not hitting what we want. But we can lost voltage here again for 120, and this is going to be the theme of Raikou. Is like this is kind of the ideal setup where you get set up real fast, and you just keep hitting for 120. Usually the opponent cannot respond to that. What oh, my phone's making noises, and I'm not surprised. My opponent's like, I'm good. I'm done. I don't want any more. Um, which will probably happen a lot with this deck specifically, or any deck that's going to be hitting those numbers so quickly. But let's go ahead and try another game here. Ooh, I'm making my way to the, the Glissopod. That's not bad. So 
Sorry, I had to make sure my early game is running. We got a Windshaker of 1, and we're facing another water deck. This time we're facing off against Empoleon. So, we do have to watch out a little bit of our bench, but we should be fine. I will like to go first again. I am, I am lucky enough to want to go first every single time. So we're facing Andrew Benjamin. Double Mareep start. This almost makes me want, wish I had the other Mareep instead of this Mareep. The other Mareep has the amazing ability called Fluffy Pillow. And that uh, that makes it where <laughs> you can put your opponent to sleep. Just that's the ability. Put your opponent to sleep. And then um, and then from there you can see what happens, I guess. You can see if they wake up or not. So we got one heads. Makes me think I should probably grab the Flaffy. Since there's only one in there, yeah. We want to grab Flaffy here so we can signal beam next turn. And uh, we'll we'll stop right there. Kind of not as not as strong of a start this turn. Like last time we had the fan club. This time we don't. Um, which is not a problem. It just it just sucks that we're we're it's a little slower start. Should still be fine though. Ooh, maybe not. They got double, double pit clubs. They're gonna have their Empoleons up real fast. Double, double, double heads for 20 damage. I think we're gonna come back with the Flaffy here. And we're hoping we don't lose this Flaffy. If we do, we do have the Rescue Stretcher to be able to get it back. But as you can see, we're we're a little slow on the uptake here. But there we go. We're gonna get that confused, and confusion is not a is not a um a status condition to take lightly. It can really wreck you, as proven right there. Try to attack under confusion. you you there's a good chance you're not gonna make it. So what's kinda nice here is that we can we can uh Ultra Ball here for Ampharos and start going to town. Although, makes me wonder do I want Ampharos or do I want um, Zeb Stryka? Part of me feels like I want Zeb Stryka and then I can work my way into Ampharos because there's more Ampharos than there are Zeb Strykas. So let me do it this way. May not be the best course of action, but it's the course that I do want to take. Because I still feel like Zeb Strika is the main main thing to do in this deck is bring out your Zeb Strikas as quickly as possible. And we can actually even nest ball here for a Poiple to get that down on the bench. But see, this is setting up pretty well without that Fur Frow. That Fur Frow is kind of a. You don't want to start with that card. So we're going to split bomb. And we're just going to try to attack the attackers. So see, it's a really nice spread attack with Split Bomb. You can just 50 damage to two opponents. And uh, really puts them on the back foot. I don't... He might actually... Uh, if he doesn't have anything, yeah. If he doesn't have anything, he was going to gonna concede there. Because he knew next turn, regardless if he had a Prim Club or not, the, the, the Penguins were going down. Uh, to that, to this, uh, the sheep. So there we go, we're actually seeing a lot of what this deck can offer today, which is, I feel like doesn't always happen when you're playing theme decks. You know, sometimes you just don't quite get there on showing off what the deck can do. So I'm really happy that the storm caller is calling the storm today and actually showing off what it can do. Alright, one more. We're going to see if we can finish getting the celestial storm pack with the theme decks. And then we'll see if we have time to uh, record for the, the fire type as well. Well, I did press play. I did press play. So let me know if you guys, which, which one of these theme decks is your favorite? If you guys have tried them out. Do um, you guys like the Storm Rider or the Blazing Volcano? Um, and do you think it's a, it's a, good, it's a good start for, uh, for newer players? You know, they're... I think I always started with theme decks. The... Uh, the trainer kits and uh, the elite trainer kits is what I always started with. Heads, ooh, that's a that's a really cool coin though. Oh, look at this! Here we go, here we go, and we get to see which one's better. Which one's better? Right here, guys, right here. 
I should stop the recording, restart the recording, and say this is the battle versus both of them. Um, but uh, I think I have somebody that's going to battle me best of three with these later, so that's what I'm going to wait to do. But they start off double hound doer. Wow, they got the team hunt, the best ideal team hunt on their second turn. Oh, so I can eye opener here. That's kind of exciting. Because I started off with uh, the Poiple, I can eye opener and look at my face down prize cards and figure out what I have down there. Look at that fiery intake coin there, too. Wow, that's a good start. Gonna get his stage one down and uh, halfway there to his uh, evolution. Uh, Nespa. Zeb Strike as long as it's in here. It is in here. Okay, so I'm doing a check right now. I know that Zeb Strike is in here. I know that Naganadal's in here. I know that Amphros is in here, and that I have two Flaffies. So it tells me kind of an idea of where I want to go with the uh, what I want to pick out first. I still think I do want uh, Blitzel first, though. I wish I had a better option than Kakui for the first turn, but maybe I'll just do this so that there's. <laughs> Less than 15 energies in there. Makes it a little harder to sprint them away, but uh, I think we'll be fine. We're going to go ahead and eye opener. We have two lightning energies here. A Nest Ball, Blitzel, Poiple, and Fan Club. So if we do get a prize, we probably want Fan Club first to be able to get our other basics out. And then Nest Ball. These two, we have other ones in the deck, so we should be fine. And if lightning energies are necessary, we go after the top. It's funny when you play theme decks and there's like, if you play a fire one and there's like four fires in there, you're like, okay, well I know what I'm uh, getting on my prizes. I'm just getting fire energies. So they plan on doing the second attack? No, they're actually going to team hunt. Okay. Good, that gives me a little more time here to get set up. Unless it screws me over like that. Wow. So I can flop or I can peck. Looks like we're pecking. For 40 and get a Marie down. But I still think it was best to uh, get those energies out so that we're not tripping over them later. So, what's my next move here? They're gonna probably try to take out Poipel, uh, which means that we're probably gonna have to move up Marie and try to keep the Thunder Shock lock. Yeah, especially with them evolving the Hound Doom, the attack operations. Uh, unfortunately for them, it only does 50, not not the 130 that they wanted to do, so it shouldn't do 130. Oh, it's hand. So, oh, so they're lucky that they had more hand size than I do. How do they have so much of a hand size? Wow. I thought it was by Pokemon. Are you kidding me? It's like, oh, you want energy? Well, let's just give you all the energy then. So, I think this one, the uh, the Entei definitely won. Entei won this one. I'm pretty definite about it. Because they have more than eight cards in their hand. And they're just going to 130 me to death uh, with this. Uh, so, we went two and one. Beat the water decks. Lost to the fire deck. That's the triangle. <laughs> But I'm sure that the Raikou deck can perform better against the Entei deck. We'll have to see when we face off against our friend uh, which one's which one fares better in the end. But this is kind of ridiculous that you know it gives that many. I can flop here and then uh, lose. I'll say well played just to be nice, but uh, I can't say it was actually well played. I just think you know. RNG, RNG man. It gave me a lady and a kukui, and I had to choose. I chose wrong. That's 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 what that means to me. You're supposed to kukui first turn when you can't have an effect. That way, uh, I don't know. That way you don't do the extra 20 damage. But getting just so many energy. I mean, I know four of them were lady, 
but still just top decking energy when you already have enough to attack it, it can really hurt you um but with that guys let me know what you guys think of raikou um mvp purple you know but uh, i want to thank you guys so much for stopping by actually you know what let's open up one thing let's open up one of our uh one of our kits. Let's open up one of our build and battle kits and see what we get inside. Oh, cool. We got the uh, the Suicune here. With Frozen Flow, once during your turn before you attack. If you active Pokemon, uh, you can have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one from their bench. Uh, not a bad one. That's not one I actually pulled IRL. And this actually gives you the... Uh, the Pre-Marina line with Harmonix lets you attach two energies when you attach energies. And you actually still get a Naganadal as well, which is pretty cool. That's not a bad theme deck to get. Or, not theme deck, but you know what I mean. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, next time, we will be looking at the Blazing Volcano deck. And so, I will see you guys then. Until then, I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.